Welcome back to the channel guys. It's been three, four weeks. I don't know. You guys probably know better about how long I haven't posted for. So let's go ahead and give you some updates on what we got planned for 2023. Hang in there guys. So let's first start off by saying, man, I've probably gained some weight, you know, holidays, eating meals, you know, everybody loves that time of the year. Well, most people probably do. And, you know, probably getting more gray hairs. I think I'm losing hair, guys. I don't know. Getting stressed from doing all these uh, builds and everything. But first, let's start off with what's behind me, which is actually a clean workbench. So these last couple weeks, um, obviously enjoyed time with family, kids and the wife, and we had a good Christmas. Hope you guys did as well. And we just had a good New Year's last night. Kids tried staying up. I think most of them survived, and then I think they were wound beyond the point that they didn't want to go to bed, but we got them all in bed, so that's good. But yeah, I hope everyone had a happy holidays, and I hope you guys got big things planned for 2023. I'm going to start off with some shop updates first, and then I'll tell you what plans we have for 2023. So first off, I've been pretty busy trying to clean the shop. Now, don't look in the far background, because I haven't focused anything on that, but you know, guys, I haven't seen these benches in quite some time. So this is definitely going to be nice going in the new year. Need to get something as far as a rack to put pipe on. You know, I bought these racks over here, but they're for wood. Tried putting a few pieces up there and bent one of the arms. But benches are clean. We're all somewhat organized. Got all of our uh, extra pieces of scrap metal down there. Got our bench cleaned off. That's a box, uh, a box of bolts and stuff I need to go through. Got our welders and everything lined up, saws, sanders, and was just finishing working, cleaning up this side here. Got my dirt kind of swept over that way. And the main bench back here, besides my sweater and a towel, it's pretty good. So I went ahead and got the radio mounted up here, got the speakers just kind of hung up there. I mean, I would mount them probably like out here in the open, but don't have any speaker wire. Went ahead and got some of our parts put up above. If you guys have been with us for a little bit, you know we've got the Tremec T56 and the bag is a 5.3 uh, block, 4L80E and the LS1. So all that stuff's tucked away. I got all the tools tucked up here. These are more bolts that are in bags that are new. Got our tester here, which I still should probably do a review on that for any guys that are interested in a review on the all tool CT160, the injector cleaner. Put all my fittings and O-rings and stuff inside the yellow and black one there. Hung those up. Looking pretty good. Got a few more things to go through on the floor here. And next up is the burnout truck. So as you can tell, the fender's mounted on the driver's side. And that's because the other day I wheeled it outside when it was a beautiful 48 degrees, I think, here. After we just got done having a blizzard the week before. So we got a driver's fender on. I took some side shots of the truck here because we're working on vinyl. Now, I am going to say I went with a name that one of you guys picked out, so I appreciate that. And I will let you know when we have the design what that name is going to be. And I'll have to look up who made that comment. So, Or when it comes time, you can comment down below if you're the one that picked that out. I thought it was really neat. I read the full description and made perfect sense. So you guys will see that coming up. But I got the uh, Mustang wheel put on the back as I was digging some of the stuff out. So it's got the matching front and rear. I think that looks pretty good. Now we got to get that passenger side all wet sanded before we do put vinyl on it. We've got to get the windshield in, grill, and all that stuff. Now I've got a mess. I'm working my way, obviously, from the back of the shop forward. So we'll just keep making our way forward here. Goliath is still sitting in the shop here. Got moved over here so I could get some stuff out and in. It was just kind of sitting in the way. So I pushed it over there. Updates on that shortly. And over here, I went ahead, and this is the cart that was always along the wall over here. I went ahead and pulled it out, removed everything off of the cart, and I'm putting everything back on the cart. That is only for this burnout truck because I just want to have everything lined up so when we get the motor built, we can put it together. More scrap stuff here. This is Jason's stuff. This motor is the 6 liter that's going to have to go back into this truck so we can mock up some stuff. Jason has a package coming here, which I'll explain, and it may disappoint some of you guys, but it's probably for the better before I actually do something else. We can make the change currently, so we'll get that bounded in there, and then we'll bolt something up to it. You can probably guess what I'm talking about. 
we haven't had to cut holes yet because we haven't ran the truck but yeah it's coming up so make your guesses down below on that got garbage stacked up there and also went ahead maybe you already seen it in the background but i went ahead and bought some of these tire racks from amazon the old amazon and we've got these all mounted up here and i put most of my tires up there i plan to add additional stacks of two like what are right here down the wall maybe maybe two additional up and down maybe four if needed now i won't put any rims up there but these are some more burnout tires um the drag racing tires and stuff like that and this is maybe going to go on carl's 35 Ford dump truck if we can get around to that and i think that pretty much wraps up this side now over on this side of the shop again complete disaster i have not touched this side as far as cleaning it except just getting the stuff out death trap sitting over here sitting all lonely guys I was going to do an update video on the motor and what we found out here, but long story short, the, I want to say it's the exhaust, I don't remember if it's the exhaust or intake, doesn't make a difference, but the push rod got burned up again on this passenger side on the number two cylinder and it did burn the push rod. Oh, and actually here's the rocker. So it did kind of burn the cup up there, beat that up. And then got the tip of the valve a little bit. We knew that we lost that lash cap. I don't remember how much I covered in there, but pulled it apart. And we're going to put a lash cap on that one, get this thing fired back up. But, you know, I've had the same lifters in this motor since I bought it from the guy when it was used. So I think our next step is going to be, we're going to order lifters. We're going to pull the intake instead of pulling the whole motor out. Put some in there. And then Jason went ahead and also ordered burst panels. So my truck, I want to say... The white one over there yeah because jason on the camaro is running a, a factory pre-made intake with a burst panel so we're going to try and get those tigged on the front of these intakes so that way the tunnel ram intake has a burst panel because we're kind of living on the edge guys you know if there was a catastrophic failure it could blow the blower right off of this motor so the whole purpose of that burst panel is to get any catastrophic combustion inside underneath the blower out so it can burst that panel out I went ahead and got rid of all the old tires that I had here as I was making room or just cleaning up, I should say. So all the stuff that was over here, if you guys remember, that was on pallets that was not covered by insurance. That stuff has all been, I think, like 99% removed from pallets and put away. Like I said, I went ahead and tried dismounting tires and stuff that I could. So that way, all that stuff was done. So now let's go... Talk about the motor for the white truck over there. This is the, if you remember, diamond pistons and eagle rods. I don't know if I showed that, but got a little bit of uh, corrosion, a little rust, surface rust is all on two of these rods because they were opened, unfortunately. I don't know where the, oh, the other one's right here. Okay, let's see. Oh, bag's open there on the end. So yeah, I got some, that'll just have to be blasted off. I'm not worried about that, but this was going to be the 408 stroker motor with diamond pistons, uh, eagle rods, and that stroker crank. And I think what we've decided to do to, I don't want to say we don't know what we're doing, guys. We know what we're doing. We just want to see how far we can push a motor without ruining good stuff. So, you know, experimenting with these heads and porting them out and stuff like that. Um, methanol, blowers, you know, it's our first time trying to tune mechanical. I think we did pretty damn good to be honest with you and that was with the help of you know shane sink he's got a burnout truck and stuff he's got that model a rat rod and a couple other guys in australia mick and guys over there thanks for all the help helping us get that tune but what we're going to do is i've got some used mall pistons which i think i mentioned before um i'll purchase i think these rods will work we might have to just deck the block down a little bit but we're going to run a six uh five three excuse me five three block instead of the six liter so we're going to run that five three mall pistons hopefully those eagle rods and then a stock 5.3 crank and then we'll put those 317 heads on that scott hand ported and we should see some pretty good numbers out of that you know i'm hoping i don't know jason wants to make a thousand horsepower i would too you know i you know it's always that good getting four digits but realistically we made what 650 before i mean with all the head port work and the numbers we were seeing as the dyno was starting to take off 
I'm thinking realistically we should gain 100, 150 horse easy. So uh, if we could get her up there to 800, 850 horsepower, I, I think we'd be doing pretty damn good. So that's kind of our goals for this one, or mine at least. Maybe Jason's got higher expectations, but that's what's going to go into this truck. Now, Goliath. I'm going to disappoint a lot of you guys, but it's going on hold, guys. So I think we're just going to let it slide this year. Not saying we won't start on it, but it is not going to be rushed to get done for April or March 31st is Florida. It's not going to be rushed because I'm the one over here doing all the fab work and stuff for this thing. And Jason comes over when he has time. You know, they're working on vehicles. He works during the day just like I do. He works on vehicles at my brother's shop that does the motor work at night. Um, repairing vehicles and stuff and trying to flip some cars for cash. So, you know, he's busy as well. And that's that's how we try and fund this stuff, guys. You know, we, I don't have a money tree out back. I wish I did. I don't have big sponsors. We don't, we hardly have any sponsors. We have very few sponsors. And, you know, obviously the major one to me is my oldest brother that does the engine work because without him, I, I would have been done years ago when we first started and blew the first motor up in Florida. There was no way I could have afforded to pay somebody to actually rebuild that motor. So, yeah, like I said, we'll start on it. But I think what I would like to do, and maybe this will make some of you guys happy. Maybe it won't. But again, Goliath put it on hold. You know, I kind of mentioned before something about a drag and drive event. And I think that'd be cool. Plus, just to have something that I could drive around. So, I'm thinking the red and white Ford truck. Not to do the same thing we've already done, but... I've got the one out back. If you guys haven't been with the channel, I'll put a picture in now. I've got this truck that I just want to do a quick Crown Vic front end swap, cut all the original stuff out, and see if maybe quick performance will help us out with some uh, rear end components for that. And drop that LS1 in there. I'm sure you four guys are probably cringing right now. Again, I'm sorry. It's just because I have it up on the shelf is the only reason I'm using it. I don't have to build something that I don't have. Put that LS1 and that T56 in there, and if you guys seen, I've got those turbos up there. Oh, I've got several turbos, wastegates, um, blow-off valves, all that stuff sitting up there on the loft. I thought about just doing a quick little uh, refresh on that LS1, maybe put a cam in there, maybe build it. I don't know. I don't think so. I think I just want to leave it like it is because it should be able to handle some pretty decent power. And just put together a decent street truck with twin turbos on it and just go out and have fun, guys. You know, give you guys some content of just... You know, out cruising around, going to the strip, um, doing a drag and drive event. That way it's not just all burnout stuff. So if that's some interest of you guys, comment down below as well. I know I'm just kind of rambling on. Again, just kind of giving you guys some updates. I'm going to have one more day out in the shop here of just getting everything the rest of the way in the shop cleaned out. And then this will give us a good foundation for 2023 to get started. Burnout truck's looking good, guys. I, I, I'm really excited. I've got a guy designing the wrap for this, so... I'm excited for that. So hopefully it turns out the way I envision it. Hard to take your uh, thoughts and put it on paper without really putting it on paper. Just trying to write it out. So I, I know Alexander at Constant. He'll kill it. So huge thank you to him for that. We should see something this week on that. So hopefully I'll have some updates. I'll have Jason's packages for this thing. And yeah, we'll get trucking, guys. Got a lot of work to do, honestly. We got windows. We've got a whole motor to put together. Uh, we want to change some stuff on the Camaro. Jason wants to maybe do exhaust, since we're probably going to run it this entire year. Plus, it'll give Jason some more time behind the wheel of that before we smash up Goliath or something. So maybe do some exhaust on that thing, kind of get it at least out the fenders or somewhat down underneath. You know, maybe do something with that. But we got to get them power steering, guys, because that electric Volvo pump is kind of a POS. So works half time, then it doesn't. Maybe it's the pump. Maybe it's because we're putting 16 volts to it. I don't know, but... We're going to change it. Jason's already got a mechanical pump. He actually bought the same exact one that we have here in this burnout truck. So we'll get that mounted up. Definitely got to do that. The exhaust will come second, but a lot, a lot of work. I got a lot of front end parts I'd like to put in this thing. We got to get the sway bar on. Got to get the box bolted back down, which we'll do next in the video, next video. Fuel tank, all the fuel line, all that stuff. So that way we're basically ready for a motor. And then get the window, back window, windshield, all that stuff in. Get some wiring pulled back in this thing. Um, well, we can't do that until we dyno it, but I can rewire a few things that we're coming up a little bit short on wiring as far as main harness, main leads. Some of that garbage there. But I think that's going to wrap it, guys. I'm sure I probably missed some stuff. Again, hope you guys aren't disappointed. 
stick around for 2023. I'm going to try and uh, get this all cleaned up, like I said, give us a fresh start, get you guys some more content coming out for this year, and let's try and hit it big, guys. Let me know down below. Do you really want to see Goliath, another burnout vehicle that we already have three of? I don't know. That's where I'm kind of stuck, guys. I love the car. Jason doesn't want to do drag and drive, so that's not an option. Not with that anyways, so that's why I'm leaning out back, the uh, 67 Ford that has the red and white paint scheme on it. So, you know, fix the body up a little bit, drop that stuff in there, and I think we could do a pretty quick job on that. So, all right, thanks for hanging in there, guys, and I'm sorry I haven't posted in a while. Again, hope you guys had a happy new year, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks again.